Part 1 and 2 was autocomplete combo box with higher clause in as well as C sharp with SQL link available in the description box below. This is part 3. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add multiple columns in autocomplete combo box. So, this is the item name column. I'm going to add three column item name unit and item quantity in the combo box autocomplete combo box column so in that case just change the command command is item name as details then unit single condition then sign unit uh, put plus sign plus single condition then the sign and then single condition plus okay Oh, does not contain property with the name item name yes this is the value da data value field is item name so text is details okay but item name I have to add the item name column also item name select in the select statement okay now item name and unit will display in the combo box yes it's displaying perfectly you can see in the item name combo box displaying item name and unit with the star sign okay now it's working fine item name and unit okay now i'm gonna add uh, a space before and after of star star sign reload this space yes the space is also added item name space star space unit kg okay now just copy this syntax and paste it after the unit because i'm gonna add item quantity column also okay the column name is item qty so column name item qty reload this page oh error converting data type and marker to plot item quantity is plot type data type is plot of item quantity but in that case i have to convert it to varchar so convert varchar i have to add uh, i have to convert it varchar uh, to display in the combo box change the white white is 360 reload this page yes now I can see item type, item name, unit, and uh, stock quantity is also item quantity also added in the comma box. Okay, you can see item name, unit, and quantity, but the value is only item name. Whereas it displaying item name, unit, and quantity value will be only item name. Let's check. To check it, uh, go to the design and uh, add a level control and a button control. So first of all, add a button control and then add a level control. Level ID is LBL value. And button text is get. Okay, go to the button click event. Yes now lvl value dot text equal to combo box one dot selected value the value will be only item name what i said so let's check let's check it in the browser reload this page yes the button is added now selecting dice and select the item select the item item is nova conversion sr unit kg and this is the quantity when I click on get it displaying only the conversion as you can see it displaying only item so value will be only item whereas it's displaying the item name unit and uh, quantity okay it's working fine thanks for watching this tutorial